surprised you the most? That I did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because you know how sometimes you have folk around you who says you can't do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't do it and show me all kinds of reasons why I should not. And I felt every time when I'm, when I come up to that roadblock that I, I, I shouldn't, something tells me you can and you yeah. have to because yeah. there's something in the in my book that will help someone else you right know, when they come up to this point where they don't know where to go at least i read this in eleanor's book and i'm going to do what she did and i know i'm going to get over on the other side mm -hmm. so i'm always i'm always positive I always yeah. have a positive attitude in what I'm doing because I make sure that the people I am around are not people in the negative. Right. You know, I am always with the positive and I'm always looking forward to the next level, to the next round. Yeah. I, and again, yeah. that, that vision of that, um, I, I think that's a, that, and having that, that, like, I can hear your positivity. I can feel your positivity through the, <laughs> through the video here on our video call and that, um, that willingness to listen to that other voice, right? That more positive voice that says you can do it versus, you know, it's very easy to just fall into the negative voice that tells us we can't or the other people's voices. It's, it's very easy to let that control us. But then there's yes. that little spark of that other voice that's like, no, wait a minute, you can do this. It can be different for you. And yes. your, your willingness to follow that, because it, for me in my life, that that negative voice has always been so much louder and this, the, yes, the yes. more positive path is like just a little spark. It's just a little yes. spark enough to recognize it. And if I'm willing to, to go after, go that route, I mean, the world opens up. It's a completely different experience. That's right. That's right. You know, I, I try my best to, to, to stay focused. Yeah. Because there was so coming to the United States, there was so much things to take me off focus. Yeah. You know, so much around me, so much around me, you know, in that scripture in Matthew, where Jesus was walking on the water and when the disciples were on the boat and they saw him and um, Peter was really, you know, said, I don't understand this. I said, and he says, Jesus, if it's you bid me to come. And when Jesus asked him to come, of course, he got on the water and he started to walk to Jesus, but the waves around him. The boisterous wind and waves around mm -hmm. him. I look mm -hmm. at that like the people around me who would be boisterous in saying it can't happen because just as Peter took his eyes off Jesus and was looking at the winds and the waves around him, he started to sink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, if he yeah. had kept his eyes on Jesus, he would have walked right to him. But when he started to sink, he said, Good thing Jesus was there. So when I think of a sinking attitude, I just saw the hand. I just saw the hand. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's a, a, just a complete, another testament to you get what you focus on, right? If we're yeah. going to let the waves pull us down, the waves are going to pull us down, but yes. we have a choice of a different focus as you just yeah. illustrated there. Yeah. 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 What did you learn about yourself during the creation process of your book and bringing it to life? I learn about myself that, again, I'm going to say I can do it. I can do all things. I learn about myself that, um, you know, Eleanor, you've, you've, you, you have stamina. Yeah. You have your own stamina. You have your own will, you mm -hmm. know, which is the will of God that is in me, you know, and I can also encourage others to do it because here I am. I did it out of nothing. I did it. So if yeah. I can do it, Anybody else can do it. Believe me. I came yeah. from a poor background, a background that I think that I wouldn't be where I am today. Hadn't it been for the grace of God. Mm -hmm. So that's how I know that I have the power in me. The same power as the Bible said that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. I have that same power in me that I can do it yeah. and I can entreat somebody else to do it. And not leading them off course or in any direction that is not right. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that's my determination. My determination, I try to have someone else get the same determination to do whatever. So I can encourage anybody who wants to do a project. Yeah. Anybody who wants to do a project, whether writing a book, singing a song, because aside from writing my book, I'm also an international gospel artist. 
Oh, and I okay. have 12 CDs to my name. Wow. Because I was determined to do a bunch of stuff. It's like I had a bucket list. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, your story is just so inspiring. And it's just been such a joy to talk to you today. I've really, really enjoyed this conversation. Um, before we close out, what do you hope the readers learn or take away after reading your book? Uh, I would... I would say that my book, I hope that it would appeal to everybody, mm -hmm. anybody, your age, your religion, your ethnicity, your gender, you know, it's a road that we are all on and that mm -hmm. road is called life. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that road is called life. And as mm -hmm. long as we are alive, there would be circumstances, there would be situations, there'd be so much to face us on life's journey. Mm -hmm. And we have to consciously each day live life. And like I said to my two girls, life is not a rehearsal. Yeah. It's not that we are living today and what, whatever we do today, we're going to fix it, you know, because as we live, we may not live another day like the, today. So we have mm -hmm. to live it the best we can today. So, you know, what I would like everybody to do is to take from my book, Rungs on My Ladder, what you can take is like you're setting a great big dining table and you have all kinds of dish on that table. Mm -hmm. So you don't eat this, but you eat that, you know yeah. what I mean? So you can take whatever you eat and you'll be full anyway. Yeah. And in, in the variety of life, right? We get to choose what variety we, we want yes. for our lives. Yes. Yeah. Yes. My guest today has been Eleanor Riley, author of the book, Rungs on My Ladder. And Eleanor, again, I want to thank you for joining us. You're such an inspiration. I want to thank you for coming on and sharing your story with us. Thank you so much, Sloan, for having me. It was a yes. pleasure talking with you also. You can find more about the book, Rungs on My Ladder, on Amazon. And I'll link to the book in the show notes, so be sure to check that out. You've been listening to the Books on Air podcast, brought to you by webtalkradio.net. You can also hear this podcast on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, and Apple Podcasts. I'm Sloan Fremont, and I hope you'll join us for the next Books on Air podcast. Remember, you never know who's going to be here, and you never know what we're going to talk about. Thank you so much for listening.